Today on the vlog, we went to the Egyptian Papyrus Museum. It was a part of our day long tour guide with Fardu. She stopped here and it was a really cool experience. We got to see how papyrus was made from the original plant. We got to see a bunch of uses for it. Uh, we also got to see a bunch of cool artwork. So check out this episode. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Where are you from? California. Is it your first time to visit yes. Egypt? What, you, what would you like to drink at the beginning? Uh, water. Water? Mm -hmm. You don't like coffee, tea, hibiscus, lemon juice, as maybe? Um, hibiscus? I'll take that. Okay. What do you want? Nothing. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. What about sugar? Sugar? No. No sugar. What? Karkadem and Gersokar, yeah, in an Okay. Have you ever seen this plant before? Yes, here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this papyrus plant, it was a holy plant in ancient Egypt because of two reasons. First, the stem. Mm -hmm. Looks like small pyramid refers to eternal life, mm -hmm. and the flower looks like the rays of the sun refers to God eaten, God of creation. Mm -hmm. The plant itself it was about, uh, it's about four meters high, so we cut it according to the size. If you want a big, medium, or a small size, mm -hmm. I'll show you a small example of how to make the first paper out of it. We get rid of the green cover like this way. But we found it flexible, unbreakable, mm -hmm. so we used it to make baskets, mats, hats, sandals out of it, mm -hmm. ropes as well. Mm -hmm. Then we cut the inner part into thin strips like this, but we found it breakable and contain a lot of water. Mm -hmm. So we used the hammer to break the fibers like this and to be, more, to be more flexible and to make more than one piece in the same time, we use the rolling pin like this. As you can see, there's a lot of water get out of it mm -hmm. and became much flexible. Yeah. Then we leave it in the water to get rid of the sugar inside it and to create its own gelatin to stick together without adding any glue. We leave it in the water for six days to have white paper like this and for 12 days to have darker one like this. Mm -hmm. After that, we arrange the slices in two layers like this. Overlap to stick together without adding any glue. After we done by the first layer, we start the second one by the same technique. Like this. Mm. Overlapped as well. Mm -hmm. Till the end, in between two sheets of mat made out of linen, cotton, whatever the material. Mm -hmm. In between, uh, under breast for another six days. Mm -hmm. They didn't have a breast like this before, mm -hmm. so they used the blocks of the pyramid. Oh. Have you been there or not? Yes. Have you seen the bigger one? It's about Huge. 15, 15 ton. <laughs> After six days, we have this paper. Mm. Pretty awesome. Have you been to the Egyptian Museum or not? Not yet. Mm -hmm. When you go there, you are going to see this paper. It's about 4,500 years ago and still is this. Wow. Because there is no chemicals, no fungi inside it, no bacteria. Mm -hmm. So it lasts for so long. Mm -hmm. Before you look around, we have this shape. It's called the Last Judgment. It's one of our masterpieces here in Egypt, in any, mo uh, in any tomb, in anything. You are going to see it. This, uh, we found this one in the tomb of King Tutankhamun. Uh, at KV 22, 1922, mm -hmm. okay? Here you can see the king kneels in front of 14 judges, crying, swearing, giving offerings, saying that he wasn't guilty, he didn't lie, he didn't believe the nine. Mm -hmm. First seven believed him and gave him a sign, sign of life. The other seven didn't believe him. So to prove that he wasn't guilty, he has to go down with Anubis to the judgment hall, mm -hmm. Uh, who, uh, was, uh, he, who was the god of modification to compare his heart against the feathered one. If his heart is heavier than the feather, that means he was a bad person and he will go with Amon, god of hell, to deliver him to hell. Mm -hmm. But as you can see, the heart is lighter than the feather, so he will go with Horus, god of protection, to meet the holy family which exists in the heaven, which consists of Osiris, god of heaven, behind him his wife Isis, goddess of love, Neftis, goddess of magic, and then the middle, we can see Todd, god of writing, write what's going on in hieroglyphic alphabet. Mm -hmm. Also, before you look around, we have the shape. What about? 
this one it's a journey between husband and wife in the Nile River it's mm -hmm. like honeymoon one mm -hmm. and this is the servant are giving him some food and some cold water mm -hmm. to enjoy their journey mm -hmm. and this is the first love story ever found in the history between King Tutankhamun and his later on become his wife mm -hmm. and she tried to tell him that I love you so she represent a lotus flower for the king if he touches the flower as he did that's mean I love you too I want to spend my life with you mm -hmm. and here you can see the servant collecting lotus and papyrus to give it to the new couple mm -hmm. to wish them live, uh, to live in love and peace mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this is Sarah and what's the name of your shop Egypt Papyrus Museum all right, thank you. So after the Papyrus Museum, we drove over to lunch. And I just wanted to show the city streets of Egypt, how it looks, how the traffic is. You see they got benzes amongst, you know, the donkeys, camels, everything else that they were using as transportation. It's a very odd juxtaposition. Like we are in the future, in the past at the same time. But that was just the theme of Egypt in general. Very cool. Like you ride in a car looking at the pyramids. Who would have thought? I love you. <laughs> I love you. Straight up, Jesus. Shukra, shukra. Oh. Is this Stella Artois? I'm just kind of fucking small. What am I, a Lilliputian? <laughs> what? And we got the pyramid view. So my dad thoroughly enjoyed lunch because it was the first restaurant we went to that actually served alcohol. So he was beyond pleased, very happy to be there. And then we stopped at this jewelry shop on the way back because I told Fardus I really wanted to get a cartouche while I was here in Egypt. So she made that happen for me. We went to this shop and they let me go upstairs and see how it was actually made. So that was super cool. And how many for you? Hello. Welcome. Thank you. 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 Thank in Americans, Rome one. Oh, no, 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 it's fine. You sure? Mm hmm See how we make it sadder? Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 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 I'm Make her happy when we see the most beautiful one. Okay? She's my sister. Oh, chair? No, no, I want to see. Tranquilo. I'll He's your... Dad. Oh. Yeah. Because God did not say that's your boyfriend. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> but he's strict. Like this. Yes. I don't know why. Strict, strict. Life is easy. <laughs> Where are you from? California. What a nice place. Yeah. State of California. Mm-hmm. We always appreciate having African Americans people. You're such a great, great people. Thank friendly, you. Friendly and you have very good tests. Yeah. We yeah. Don't love you, we respect you. Yeah. Are you a good review trip advisor right yeah. now? Excellent you, review. You're good. You're very good. Mm -hmm. It's a head, 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 it's a 
Once the cartouche was actually done, I was super, super excited. He did a wonderful job, even though my name is long as hell with 10 letters. Then we paid when my dad paid because, you know, bro girl. So anyways, thank you, dad. Happy birthday to me. It was very exciting. And then we left there and immediately went to the last stop, the Pyramids of Giza. My God, I cannot believe I went still. Like I'm shook watching this. <laughs> Oh, 
You been out for me because I'm from honor and you know he will be with you. Okay. Take you to the Balorama view from the desert to mm -hmm. the main pyramid, take a pictures and come back. Okay. Okay? Yeah. You'll be now for me. I know the answer to most questions, though. Oh, yeah, he's like trivia. Yeah. Yeah. A million miles of questions. Trivia. Useless knowledge <laughs> up here. <laughs> I am still so amazed at the fact that I went to see the pyramids with the person that taught me about the pyramids, who's my dad. Like my heart is so full just thinking about that and watching all this, looking at the pictures we have. Then of course we did another stop because it's half tourism, half sales pitch when you go on these guided tours and they took us to allegedly the oldest perfumery in Egypt called Valley Flower. The owner of the shop was super duper nice. He said it's been in his family for generations. He showed us a picture of himself with Muhammad Ali when he was young. Just a vibe, like they offered us drinks. It was like being at your Egyptian grandpa. Paul's house so definitely stop here if you are in Egypt I bought sandalwood and something called Queen Ple Cleopatra smells amazing works amazing on the skin 10 out of 10 family is the beautiful family mm -hmm. farmer family mm -hmm. when you visit us same same visit my home I know mm -hmm. you are feel at your home mm -hmm. what can I offer it for you to drink this my welcome thing my Egyptian hospitality uh, water I have water mm -hmm. and I have tea with fresh peppermint. It's very good for headache, very good for stomach. Mm -hmm. And I have Bedouin coffee with cardamom. Mm -hmm. And I have cold hibiscus. Anyway, oh, you cold are free. hibiscus. Yes. Thank you. Because you are free to choose. You are not free to refuse, please. <laughs> okay, thank you. Hibiscus. What about you, brother? I don't want anything. Thank you. Just oh, nothing. Sure. Mm -hmm. Sure, brother. Yeah, I'm sure. Thank you. 
Look at my dad paying. We love a man that pays, a true king. Here we are back at our hotel uh, for the evening. It's fun because me and my dad like have the same personality. We're equal parts adventure and chill time. So it's very fun to travel with him. And we got like some jokes off in the hotel room. So I'm gonna show you all a little clip of that because it's hilarious. Again, what, what are the people saying? I said this is a driving hat. You said, I said the young bitches hate that shit. They be like, you look so old when you put that hat on. And I'm like, bitch, if you don't shut up. Because this is a Morgan Freeman ass hat. Yeah, bitch. Morgan Freeman. I've been wearing that them hats since I was like in that like seventh grade, sixth grade. I stole my grandfather's hat, put it on, I loved it. I wear my grandpa's hat since middle school. Yeah just a little inside of how we are having a ball inside the hotel my dad's hilarious he's my favorite person to hang out with and then from the rooftop of our hotel we had an incredible view of the pyramids and we got to watch the light show for free thank you guys for watching this episode and see y'all next week